Hey folks, it's Beano Black. This is going to be real short and fast. I'm just going to show you Beetlejuice. Bataglius, basically. Everybody says it's a little different. I'll show you the spelling in a second, but we're going to take a little trip through this. And this is seen from 13,800 and some feet in Hawaii. And this is a very beautiful look at it. The ghost in the sky. And there's the very end of it right there, the cloud. And that's, you can see the, the coloration of it. Gaseous state out there in space. Dust also. Dust. Hydrogen. Helium, possibly. Anyway. So you see that there. And that's Gemini area over there. Okay. To the left. And basically, I'll zoom in a little bit more. And most interesting is this cluster here doing that, and that's what we, the beetle juice, it's spitting, but it's just basically all electrical energy, just like the sun. Okay, so there's way more components than just the sun up there giving us our electrical heat every day, which is the sun, radiation, okay. Okay, now, uh, let's zoom into this thing as much as we can. Uh, custom, and we'll try 900. Make sure we'll go in 925. I know when I get certain f far, they won't let me get any, and that's probably about as good as I'm going to get. So, I have to be careful not to hit the player. And as you can see, that there does that. And then we'll get the magnifier and take another even look at it. And then we're in at 600 all right off the bat, so there you go. And this is all from the ground, 18,000 feet. We can see all this. And then you can take pictures and software, you can glue in and look at all this. Those are all dwarfs up there. Red dwarf stars, blue dwarf stars, white dwarf stars. Pretty wild, huh? So we're going to take a look all the way through this, hopefully without it playing. As long as I can... And this is the spit along all that star chain there. Lights all those, the electrical magnification. It's just enough to get it all. So you can get you can imagine what it looks like in space. Okay. So if I keep my finger light enough, now we'll go up from that. And this is that formation below. We're we'll doing the flash, and then we'll go up to the gaseous, huge. And basically, I gotta find this. Hang on, I'm gonna have to queue up. Okay, and then we'll boom in again and get a lo another look at what's above this here. That, yep. And let me get over and I'll scroll because I'm going over to it anyway. And those are all stars. I'm gonna get over here and get us. And that'll go away in a second. And then this is what all we're looking at. We just zoomed in and looked at all this here. And this here too. And this was your... Yep. Clouds in space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It's not a cloud on the earth. It's a cloud out in space. The sky is totally clear. Okay. Yes, there's clouds in constellations and areas out in space. And as we get the wallpaper, as we rotate, as Earth rotates, then those go away. And then we get high clouds that we're getting, we're getting a lot of atmosphere right now in the sky. And when we get the totally clear sky, you can see the clouds. So you can see how high our stratosphere and everything is out there in space. Okay, that's 18,000 some... So you can see how high we're getting. We're getting more and more clouds up higher and higher and higher. Our atmosphere is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's very hard to... Our whole plasma of Earth. So... Now if I can see if I can get back... And get Gemini. And get that frozen in again. and get our shot in. And as you can see all the remnants there, let me show you that real fast. I want to see all the remnants in the sky. Check out all the remnants. 
This is the stuff that basically is always with us. All these black materials rotate around with us. Even this stuff down here, this stuff is out there in space. Dark remnants, okay? Even when the sun goes down, they're still there. It's just the idea that when it gets dark, they blend in. During the daytime, you can see them pretty good, okay? See these? I'm pointing right on them. Bam, 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 bam. All that stuff's out there, okay? You can see it at 18,000 feet. Clear skies, okay? And the camera helps a little bit. Helps your vision. That stuff's all out there. All up and there in the sky. So, every time you think it's just Earth here and the, there's tons of stuff close by. And hella far away. So, let's get Gemini. And it just missed it. As you can see how fast it is. So, it's very hard to freeze. There's the early part of it. Let's see if I can get it there, and that's what we looked at. So let's freeze that. And these aren't planes, they come out of this area over here. So we're getting gamma rays from over this way. Okay, so gamma rays from that region below Gemini, back behind Procyonian, and we'll see what's coming up when it comes up. But I froze that. And I can give you a better look at that here too, even on full. We can just take the magnifier in and take a look at that. That's not an airplane. As so we go left and hopefully I won't get the player to start. Did you see that? So sometimes when people think they see flying saucers, it's not. It's just uh, starlight twinkling and basically light energy traveling out there in space. And that's no airplane. And as you can see the, the purple behind it. And the red and the yellow there, and then that streak there. And I can try to get anything what we can see. Of, 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 let's see what we can see at 1600. And there's the red. There's the yellow over there. And we'll come down to the. Basically, there you go. You see the travel of that. See? So. You see that red and purple, blue, and then the white. So, and then I try to get the streak, and there we go, we'll go through that, and that's blown up. And that's not an airplane, stars. Okay. Falling stars, and they travel hella fast. So, there's proof that falling star is a falling star. So, you seem to have seen a falling star frozen. It's the best, best you're ever going to see, pretty much for a while, until 18,000 plus feet, okay? Shop Denver Mattress 
tell us they love our mattresses. I love Denver mattresses. I love my doctor's choice mattress. I love Denver mattresses. North of 94 on Highway 83, north of Walmart, Bismarck. Protecting your athletes' teeth should be a priority. We at Power Economics want to make that easy. We're offering free wealth cards to all you sports teams. Just tell your coach about Power Economics today. Good afternoon, everyone. Our snow bottle suggesting we could see uh, maybe an inch or so of snow later on this evening over southern North Dakota. I know it's showing in a painting area of about four inches somewhere in southern North Dakota. I don't think it's going to be quite that extensive, but chances for snow continuing throughout the evening. Anyone can get pneumonia, but some are at greater risk. People aged 65 years or older and children are living fine. People up through 64 years of age with underlying medical conditions and a lower immune system. And people 19 through 64 who smoke cigarettes or have asthma are also at increased risk for getting pneumonia. Encourage friends and loved ones with health conditions like diabetes and asthma to get vaccinated. Call Bismarck Early Public Health for an you can only see east and south in this shot, so watch this area up here, and you'll see this stuff come shooting out from over there too. And but remember. This is only showing east and barely south, okay, and the sun goes down in the west, okay, so watch this action. There's your pyramid. Let me repeat your pyramid to you again real fast. It's not a mountain. It's a pyramid. <laughs> it's the action of the sky. Light curvature of the sun. Check that out. We're only looking east and south, and the sun's going down in the west at this time. Because that's 1,700 hours Hawaii time. And we're only looking at the east and southern sky. And you're seeing the sun go down. Okay? It's light curvature. Fall solstice. Check that out. Alright, so then this is all your action from the video. Let's see what I've got this stuff out of, and I'll maybe I'll hopefully be able to free it. There, I got it froze. Let's take another f look at it real fast. Hopefully it won't move. And it moved again this time. We'll go take a look at it like that. And we'll zoom up. Lots of stars in the sky, and you can see that we're at the telescope point at that time. And here we go. Off to the left. More stars. So I say the starlight makes volcanoes go crazy. It's all nuclear, it's all radioactive. And there you go. Different look at uh, the stars doing their electrical connection in space. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, I'm going to watch this footage tomorrow too for tonight because the idea that you'll see meteor showers in this too. You'll see meteor showers in this also tonight. From And this was the, from the 11th. So, the meteor, maybe we can get a little bit of the meteor shower here. And as you see, there's a little bit of meteor shower action. There you go. There's some meteor shower action. I had to fast forward and get it feed it into the video. Sorry about the magnifying glass, but if I hit it right now, it's going to mess it up even more. So, more later. I'd say you should really go out and enjoy the meteor showers tonight. It's pretty cool looking. It'll be a good show tonight. The strongest for many years to come. So, anyway. DA14 in February, remember? DA14.